All right, sports fans, it's time to talk top plays of the week as we wrap up the end of the high school athletic season and gear up for college baseball playoffs. Connor Hines breaks it on down. Want to hear it? Here you go. Ah, yes, the best time of the week and leading off this week's edition of Top Plays with Mercer Baseball, looking to close out the regular season on a high note, hosting Georgia Tech at Ortho Georgia Park. Hey, you've heard of back-to-back -back jacks, but how about back to back to back. Joseph Rohrbacher, Eric Toth, and Carter Sanford with three straight home runs to get out to a 7-3 lead over Tech. The boys love the long ball, and you know what? They love a little local talent shining out on the bump, too. Stratford Academy alum Mike Attakis gets a couple Ks. He also gets his first collegiate win as Mercer tops Georgia Tech 7-6, making Georgia's finest showing out. How about some high school ball? John Millage Academy looking for a second straight state championship, taking on Pinewood Christian. And Jackson Thomas is a grown man. Crushed a mile high and a mammoth home run for the JMA senior. Making a minor league ballpark in Augusta look like a little league field out there. The Trojans killing the ball and shutting out Pinewood 6 to nothing in game one of the series. And bringing up the rear, yeah, I think this is going to be a top play 10 times out of 10. Houston County's Vic Gann starts a double play in the state title game. First by shagging the pop fly in left, then throwing a dart to Eli Stevens at home plate. Swipe or no swiping, that ends the inning without a score. Hoko goes on to sweep Pope High School to claim the Bears' fourth state title in program history at Cool Ray Field. Titletown gets another one. And those are your top plays of the week.